Good afternoon, YouTube video watchers. And again, this is Smooth Bass Man throwing out another video on how to work with Cubase. Today, I'm going to be talking about folder tracks and how to keep your project organized. I am using a new program here to do a screen capture, so please bear with me as it pans here as we go through this. So, I'm going to open up a project, an existing project that I have here. And this particular project has um, quite a few tracks in it. Uh, that we need to to get organized a little bit better. So I'm going to expand this window, and we see here here is one folder track that I already have in place for my drums. I did a live recording on drums, and everything is independently labeled here. And I can close that folder track, and now all I see on the next track is bass, and everything that was in that drum track is now contained within that one folder track. I'm going to click on this bass here. And I'm actually going to turn the lanes off and then shrink that down so we got a little bit more room. Again, I got another folder track up here called Music. This is a sequence music that I had um, done prior to doing the live bass and the live drums. And we have those two tracks there. So the advantage of using folder tracks is that anything that you do to the top layer of the track also happens to any files that are with, contained within that folder track. So I got the bass part and the drums part pretty much locked in the way I want. Um, so now I want to combine those, but I don't want to put the bass in the drum section because anything that you do to the top layer happens to the bottom. So I want to add another folder track just by right clicking down here, and now you got this folder here. So I'm going to do live recording. And you can drop other folder tracks inside of existing folder tracks. So now I have a folder track inside of folder track. So every line, live recordings now has the bass and the drum parts all in it. So again, I want to just show you guys how to edit this. And I just click on the edit slice button. And I'm just going to click in this live recording and put the snap on here. And just click here. And then over here again, click on measure 41. And you can see that that edit that I did covers all the tracks all the way from top to bottom in drums and bass. So if I was to click on that and hit delete, that whole section is taken out. And you can see if I'm going to expand the drum section, everything all the way down through the kicks and everything is taken out. So that's an advantage of doing edit. So if you have a group of vocals that you want, like a backing track or something like that, and you want to copy and paste that somewhere else you can put all those vocals in one folder track and make that edit across the entire mix instead of doing each track individually so definitely an advantage using folder tracks in Cubase to keep your projects a lot more organized